Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. This is uh, our first Baruch alumni event of the new academic year. That doesn't mean it's not the first uh, academic at, uh, event at Baruch. We have been back uh, to school for, I think, a month now. Um, the undergrads and grad students are back on campus. My understanding is that we have approximately 80% of our students on campus and campus is busy and you can imagine what the elevators are like. Um, we have uh, six new elevators in the old field building at 17 Lex. Still got to wait online. But you don't have to wait online tonight. Uh, we are going to uh, hopefully go through at a, at a jaunty pace a variety of opportunities for you to uh, get involved with Baruch as a mentor, as a speaker, uh, as um, uh, an advisor to current students and, and other opportunities. I'm especially uh, excited uh, to introduce my new colleague, Sashe Pimentel, um, who has coordinated uh, tonight's event and who will be serving as Master of Ceremonies. Uh, if there are any questions, feel free to put them into the chat and either she or I will respond. Um, and uh, look forward to um, a, a great evening together. So with that, Sashay, uh, I the floor is yours. Yes, thank you, Janet, and good evening, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, as Janet mentioned, my name is Sasha Pimentel. I'm the Assistant Director of Volunteer Network Relations for the Office of Alumni Relations and Volunteer Engagements. I'm very familiar with Baruch. I'm also a Baruch alum. I received my bachelor's and master's at Baruch. I cannot get enough. I've always I've also had different experience working at other departments at Baruch College, and I definitely know how important volunteerism is, and I'm so glad you're all here to listen to all of the offices and what they have to offer. If you do have any questions, as Janet mentioned, please write them on the chat. I'll be monitoring it as we go along. So just to give you a brief overview of what tonight is going to look like, we have multiple offices who are going to be sharing a little bit of the, what they have to offer for you to volunteer as alum. And we're so excited for you to learn a little bit about them. Uh, we have offices such as Executive on Campus, the Star Career Development Center, the Graduate Career Management Center, the Alumni in the Arts, um, the Baruch College Alumni Association, and the Student Relations. I will also be speaking a little bit about our affinity networks within the Office of Alumni Relations, and I'll be sharing some links on our chat, such as our LinkedIn groups and some Facebook groups, if you definitely want to join in um, and be part of those groups. So I am going to get started. I'm going to introduce the team for executives on campus, and they're going to talk a little bit about their volunteer opportunities. And Cancel, you. you can take it away. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sasha and Janet, for uh, organizing tonight's event. Uh, hello, my name is Kanto. I am the program manager uh, for Executives on Campus, and I'm representing EOC tonight. Uh, Executives on Campus, or EOC, is uh, the mentoring program here at Baruch. So we are housed within the Baruch Office of Alumni Relations and Volunteer Engagement. Um, the program uh, was originally founded uh, in the early 2000s by five uh, Baruch alumni, uh, and the main purpose is to provide currently enrolled uh, undergraduate and graduate students with a mentor uh, who can guide them in terms of like developing networking skills um, or interviewing skills or any other essential business skills etiquette that they might need as they make that transition from being a student to a working professional. Uh, so here at EOC, we provide two types of uh, mentoring programs. So we have long-term and short-term programs. Uh, so the long-term program is our signature program. So it's called uh, the Academic Year Long Mentoring Program. Uh, so in this program, you are matched with the students for the duration of the academic year. So from September all the way until May, uh, you're matched with the students. Um, and then the main requirement is that you meet with that student or maybe two students, depending on your availability. Uh, so you meet with them at least once a month during that uh, nine months uh, period in the program. Uh, you also must communicate with them regularly, whether you know it's via email or for uh, a phone call. Uh, and we also have to be able to check in with us. So we check in with all of our participants uh, every month 
uh, just making sure that, you know, the mentoring relationship is progressing, um, if there's any issue that we should be aware of. So we do those check-ins to make sure that, you know, students and mentors uh, are doing well uh, in their mentoring relationship. Um, and the survey, the check-in is just like a survey where we ask you, we're like, you know, did you meet with your mentee this week? Is there any issue or anything that we like that we need to be aware of? So that's basically what the check-in is. Uh, but if you don't think you can commit, you know, with the long-term program, we also have short-term programs. So I believe someone mentioned earlier about participating in the mentor in the morning, uh, in the evening. So unfortunately because of COVID these past two years, we haven't been able to do a lot of in-person uh, speed networking events. Uh, so it has been replaced by virtual mentoring week, which uh, you know uh, has the same kind of structure. So uh, you are matched with a student, with up to three students for that week. Uh, you schedule a time for like an hour or so to speak with each student. Uh, the students will come into these meetings with topics already ready. So uh, the conversation varies. Some students might come in with questions about how to get ready for an upcoming interview. Uh, some students might ask about like specific trend in the industry of interest. So the conversation do vary, but it really depends on the students and what they want to uh, bring in. Um, and uh, afterward, there's no you know, requirements for the short-term program. That one hour uh, meeting is the, the most important part. So you, you're not required to follow up uh, afterward, but we do hear a lot from students and mentors afterward. They say that, you know, hey, I stayed in touch with my mentor, even though we were only scheduled to speak for like an hour. And we we're always happy to hear uh, those stories because sometimes those students and mentors also tell us that they want to be matched in the year long program afterwards. So always great to hear uh, those stories from students and mentors. Um, and lastly, so at this time, as the academic year has already started, we actually are, are planning to launch our year-long mentoring program next week. So we're no longer taking applications for the year-long program. But if you're interested in participating in the short-term programs, uh, I can definitely add our uh, recruitment form so that you can be notified as soon as we start recruiting for uh, the short-term programs. And if you also like to know more or if you would like to schedule a call to talk about our programs, I will also include our contact and our link, uh, our website in the chat. Thank you, Sasha. And Thank I'm free to answer any questions if no one has any. Thank you so much, Kanto, for sharing a little bit of the opportunities for EOC. Um, and I know Kanto shared that she will be including all the links on the chat as well. And as this is being recorded, you will have access to it when you go back to the recording as well. So now I do want to um, pass the floor on to the Graduate Career Management Center um, and the team, and they're going to be sharing a little bit about their opportunities. Hi, everyone. Thank you very much. Just make sure I can share the screen, Sasha. Let's see, share screen. That's a really nice background. Thank you. It's it's the university uh, suggested background <laughs> that we use, so I can't take any credit for it. Uh, okay, here we go. Voila. So good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're calling in from. My name is Fred Burke. I'm the director of the Graduate Career Management Center. We work with all the Zicklin MS and MBA students here at the college. Um, the GCMC is made up of a team of seven coaches and two employer relations individuals. And so I think the, the layout of the staff is important. The, the employer relations individuals are the ones that are actively reaching out to employers, speaking with alumni, working with Janet and other folks in development, working with EOC. But we're always looking out for opportunities that match our students. Those are both in the way of summer jobs, internships, and full-time employment. And we also have a business consulting program that's required for the MBA. And our office plays an act active role in working with the business consulting faculty to find make sure that we're all on the same page with our employers. And the rest of the staff is career coaches. And so we do really almost like executive coaching. The most widely resource used by our office is individualized coaching and career planning. 
a lot of people come back for their MBA to move up in their career. There are some people that come back for their MBA to change careers. And there are people that are coming back for the 30 hour MS program. So regardless of where someone is in the process, we provide individual coaching and career planning to meet people where they are. Uh, with that, we do a ton of group workshops. Uh, we do a lot of stuff with student clubs. We're very active with employers and employers are active part of that process as well as, as, well as our alumni. Uh, we have a plethora of alumni opportunities that we capitalize on. Many of them are alumni driven, but the majority of our employer champions are our alumni that encourage their firms to come back and recruit from Zicklin. Uh, we have a very robust job and internship portal on Handshake that we uh, provide all of our students have access to and our alumni as well. We run on campus recruiting, our meetups, anything related to the job search process is run on Handshake. I think the most important resource that we provide is career services for life. We find a lot of folks are here um, and they're getting their MBA and we may not be on their radar right away, but two or three years after completing their MS or their MBA, they may say, hey, I wanna talk about that promotion. Could I review my performance goals? Can we sit down and have an executive coaching session? And the staff is most happy to help with that. So that's a little recap of our services. Um, we are so grateful for the alumni that are our champions and reaching out to their firms. If anyone has any opportunities they wish to post and send our way, I'll put my email in the chat. I know Clemente is gonna be right after me and Clemente works in the Undergraduate Career Center. And um, Janet, a couple of years ago, do you wanna put the Hire Baruch link in the chat. We, we came together, the Zicklin GCMC, the Star Career Development Center, Janet Rosbeck, the business consulting class. We came together and put together a higher Baruch uh, website. So have like one gateway for anyone coming into the college to figure out how to access our talent. I can, I can put it in the chat, Janet, if you want, unless you have it. Oh, there it is, fabulous. And I will, I will share my email um, in the chat. And also, I, I do want to bring attention to we have a we have a very strong uh, outcome report. And I will share with you our outcome report. Um, so on the GCMC webpage, wrong screen share here, share screen, I have a lot of windows open. and I'll put this in the chat, you can see our outcome report. We collect data at graduation and then three months out, and we're just in that three month out window. We will gather all the data in uh, early October for US News, Bloomberg Business, all the rankings. And we put together a very nice employment report so you can see where our MBA and MS students go, broken down by industry. You can see who's, in, who's, who's enrolled in the Zipline MS MBA programs. And then we have extremely high placement for full-time and part-time MBA in our MS population. So you can take a look at our data and I'll provide that in the chat as well. And I'll put my email if you have any further questions, I'm happy to further have further conversation. Did I stay within my three minute window? <laughs> Thank you all yeah. very much. I'll pass it on to Clemente. <laughs> Awesome. And thank you so much, Fred. Um, it was great information. So even if you went above the three minutes, I'm sure no one is upset. Um, so as Fred mentioned, now we have the Star Career Development Center and we have Clemente Diaz who's going to be sharing a little bit about their opportunities. Well, first and foremost, thank you very much for everyone attending today. Uh, we greatly appreciate your interest uh, in serving and helping us better serve our students. Uh, my name is Clemente Diaz. I'm one of the associate directors at the Star Career Development Center. Uh, the Star Career Development Center oversees career and professional development for all 16,000 undergraduate students at Baruch College, as well as students who've graduated from the undergraduate programs from Baruch. Um, in terms of our services, there's a wide variety of things that we provide our students with. Uh, so career advisement, whether that's on uh, with one-on-one -on -one appointments or walk-in sessions that we have every week, career assessments to help students identify potential majors or career paths that they may, may be best suited for, um, <clears throat> resume and cover letter reviews, mock interviews, helping them prepare for those interview opportunities, uh, career workshops, uh, star speaker series is when we go into the classrooms uh, and speak to students um, uh, on a particular topic that a faculty member or staff member would like us to speak about. We have special leadership programs um, specifically on finance, technology, accounting. Um, we also have relatively new programs targeting transfer students, students of color, uh, and students in general who want to further develop themselves uh, with respect to their leadership and uh, other career competencies. 
Uh, we have our website um, where we provide a lot of great information for students, as well as Star Search, which is our career management system. One thing that we've uh, kind of transitioned to this year is um, having Star Search being powered by Handshake. So we work very closely with the Graduate Career Management Center in terms of that transition, making sure that students have access to more opportunities, whether it's, uh, you know, job and internship opportunities, as well as um, other engagement type of resources. Uh, so I mentioned the job and internship postings, funding for unpaid or underpaid internships. So usually those tend to be for things that are for the common good or working at a nonprofit organization, where oftentimes those you know institutions may not provide some sort of funding for students. We do have some generous grants um, that have been given by you know, uh, Baruch alum and other organizations to provide funding for those type of opportunities. We have on-campus recruiting programs where uh, large organizations come on campus, recruit students, and interview them on our campus um, for either full-time jobs, post-graduation, or summer internship opportunities. We have industry panels, information sessions, uh, career days, internship fairs. Our job and internship fair is actually this month, so it's going to be September 30th. It's going to be virtual through Starsearch slash Handshake from 12 to 4 p.m., uh, we have a weekly newsletter that goes out to all undergraduate students, um, uh, highlighting the different resources, events, and programming that we have any given week, um, as well as social media and a blog that we have. Um, we also help students with graduate school advisement um, and alumni career services. Um, with respect to alumni career services, we primarily focus on, again, students or alums who've graduated from their BA or BBA degrees here at Baruch College. Um, but we work very closely with the other uh, career centers, um, the GCMC, the Weissman Graduate Career Management Center, and the Marx Graduate Career Center to provide services to all students, ultimately. Uh, in terms of how we have uh, volunteers assist us in preparing our students for the workforce and their careers, we have volunteers who oftentimes help us during our walk-in hours to help review students' resumes, facilitating workshops or one-off presentations on a variety of topics. So similar to what Fred said, it could be a presentation on the day of the the, the day in the life of an accountant, a psychologist, uh, and things like that. Uh, helping as a mock interviewer for our various leadership programs. So again, those leadership uh, development programs tend to focus on finance, accounting, technology. We have a program for students of color. We have a program for students who are transitioning as transfer students because that's a population that we've identified oftentimes needs some extra attention. Um, serving as a mentor for those programs um, and serving as a panel speaker for a variety of programming that we have. Uh, keep in mind, this is what um, volunteers have done uh, with our office or collaborated with us thus far. Um, we're always open to new ideas uh, and to collaborating with alums in a variety of ways. So if there's something that's outside of what has been highlighted right now, we're, we're welcome uh, to have a discussion with you and see how we can um, help you and uh, help our help our students as well. Uh, if you're interested in, in part partnering with the Career Development Center, um, I have my colleagues' contact information on the screen, Kara Becker, who oversees our volunteer program um, at STAR. So, and I'll include her information in the chat box as well. Uh, and then lastly, we're on social media. So apart from just following us and seeing what we do, it's a great way to see the type of programming that we do and um, how students best engage us, um, again, through the variety of programming that we offer. So again, I wanna thank everyone for taking the time to, uh, to, to attending today's session and hearing about what we all have to offer. Uh, and how we can best uh, assist our students. And if you have any questions, feel free to put those in the chat box. In the meantime, I'll also have, uh, I'll post information on my colleague if anyone is interested in partnering with STAR specifically. So thank you again. Thank you so much, Clemente, for the useful um, and important information. I remember using STAR Career Development Center as a student um, as well, so it's very, very helpful. <laughs> Um, and now I'm going to introduce uh, Janet, who's going to talk a little bit about the alumni and the arts opportunities. Thank you so much, Sashay. Uh, just here uh, playing around. All right. Um, so uh, as many of you may know, and as Sashay will go into greater depth, 
Um, in addition to volunteer opportunities to come back and support our students, we also have volunteer opportunities to uh, help build alumni networks. We have a variety of alumni networks across interest, um, in affinity, uh, geography, as well as our corporate alumni networks that Sachet will go into greater depth. But there is one um, that's particularly close to my heart that is in search of new le leadership. It is the Alumni in the Arts uh, Network, AITA. It is a Pan Baruch Alumni Network, uh, although it was born out of the Masters of Arts in uh, uh, Arts uh, Administration program that was born five or six years ago out of the Weissman School. Uh, and we've had some wonderful uh, uh, recent grads stewarding our network. We have a great logo. We have a great, um, uh, we've hosted a great series of uh, programs and events featuring some of the top uh, art professionals uh, that are within our network. Um, I will post the link to the job description um, uh, that uh, has been shared with me uh, and um, hope that uh, someone may be interested in fulfilling um, some of these roles. Uh, you do not need to be a graduate of the Arts Administration Program to participate. Here is the link to the job description. One of the things uh, that we're looking for, um, in addition to someone help steward strategy, someone to uh, perhaps take ownership of an event. Uh, we try to do two events a year, but also someone to be in charge of our LinkedIn group. Um, our Alumni in the Arts uh, Network is a robust one, uh, but uh, those uh, posts only uh, start going into people's feeds, um, the more frequently posts are made to the page. So someone who's interested in sharing news about the arts uh, who uh, uh, is uh, LinkedIn friendly, uh, we'd love your, your help and support. Um, the, within the, the document uh, that includes the job description, um, uh, there's information about, uh, about those uh, roles, responsibilities, and how to apply, but I'm also putting my uh, email into the chat. So if anyone has any questions about this network, um, specifically, feel free to uh, shoot me a note. Um, and Sashe will share uh, news about some of the other alumni networks that we have built or are building so that uh, we continue to support our extraordinary network um, of Baruch graduates. Thank you so much, Sashe. Thank you, Janet. And as Shannon mentioned, um, please feel free to click on the links that are being put on the chat and saving them and bookmarking them if you want to go back. And toward the end of the programming, we will have a Q&A session so you can ask any of the individuals from the offices any specific questions you have. And now I'm going to introduce um, the student relations uh, team who are housed in our office of alumni and volunteer engagement, uh, Catherine and Liz, and they're going to be talking a little bit about the opportunities within student relations. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Thank you once more for uh, joining us uh, tonight. Um, as mentioned by Sachet, um, my name is Elizabeth Kimbalu, and I am Assistant Director of Student Relations at Alumni Relations and Volunteer Engagement. So we mostly uh, work closely with students by offering um, programming that connects students to alumni uh, to learn more about the different industries that our alumni are currently working in. And I also work closely with my colleague, Catherine, who is uh, currently a student as well, um, at Baruch College. So she is part of this team that we um, coordinate events for to connect students and alumni. Um, one of the programs that we do every year is our round tables. And it is a speed mentoring series that connects Baruch alumni with current, currently and uh, with current and with current undergraduate students interested in learning more about particular career fields, often before they declare a major. Um, for the past year, we've been doing it virtually. Uh, last year, we focused on the industry of media, psychology, human resources, and healthcare. And this year, we are doing 
focusing um, the roundtables on real estate, wealth management, and financial adv advisory, digital marketing, and operational and project management. Um, so basically, we go through our database of alumni, and any alumni from those fields, we uh, reach out to them so that they can come back and talk to students about their career trajectory and speak to uh, share the wealth and knowledge about the steps that they can take to also pursue a career in those fields. Um, we also connect student clubs. Um, those are mostly recreational clubs, but um, we connect them with alumni. Uh, if there's specific um, like industry that they're focusing on the clubs, we connect them with alumni to come back and talk to them as well. Um, so we do a lot of that. And with that being said, I'm going to pass it to my, my partner, Catherine, to talk a little bit more about her experience um, working in student relations at our office. Thank you, Liz. Um, hi, I'm Catherine. So I work with Liz at the Alumni Relations Office. I am a junior in Berg right now. Um, so I get to work on different projects with the students' perspective. So as Liz mentioned, we are working on our roundtables right now. Um, and we have an upcoming in-person real estate roundtable. Um, so I am working on outreach um, to different Berg alumni who either majored in the real estate industry and are still working um, in the real estate industry as well. Um, and these roundtables are great opportunities for alumni to speak to students who are interested in a specific industry and ask any questions. Um, and we do, you know, it's called a roundtable because we have, you know, students rotating around different tables and being able to talk to different alumni. And usually these events last about an hour and a half. So students really get the time to fully in-depth ask a lot of questions. Um, I also wanted to touch on our 100 days um, events that we worked on last um, last graduating year for class of 2022. Um, we had different, um, we, we had different, we had a photo shoot that we, professional photo shoot that we made for our graduating class. Um, we, we allowed them to take headshots for their LinkedIn profiles um, for their careers. Um, so yeah, we have many different student events going on. Um, and the Baruch and Beyond Roundtables, I think, are a really, really great way to invite back alumni um, to just be face-to-face -face with students. Um, yeah. Yes, thank you, Catherine, for sharing. And once more, I'm going to share in the chat our contact information. As I mentioned, we really love to um, highlight different alumni from different industries. So if you are interested in coming back, connecting with students, and sharing a little bit about your career or being uh, doing a little bit of speed mentoring, uh, please reach out to us. So um, I will share in the chat and I hope to hear from many of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Liz and Catherine for sharing. Um, I'm gonna turn it over now to the Baruch College Alumni Association um, who is here with us today to share a little bit about their opportunities. I'm looking for you, Michelle. I see, I see her. I don't know. You, you're maybe muted. There she is. <laughs> hey, are you on a bus? Oh, we can't hear you. I'm actually on the train. I will try to plug back in in about 15 minutes if that's okay. Yes, totally. So you'll come back in. In 15 well, minutes. minutes? I will come back in 10 minutes if that's oh, okay. Oh, you're amazing. That's just fine. That's fine. Okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, Sashay, back to you. Yes. Um, so Michelle would join back in. That's the luxuries of the remote work and being virtual and things like that. So she'll join back in. Um, in the meantime, I will share. I know Janet already put on the chat a little bit of the links for our different networks. So I'm going to share a little bit of our some of our alumni networks that we have. So as Janet mentioned earlier, we do have affinity networks, industry networks, geographic and regional groups as well. 
Um, in specific, we have established five affinity networks, right? So we have the Women's uh, Baruch College Women's Network. Um, we have the Asian Heritage Alumni Network, the LGBTQ Alumni Network, the Somos Latinx Network, and the Robert C. Weaver Alumni Network. I'll share all of the different groups on the chat. I do want to highlight because we do have an event for the Somos Latinx Network next week, which will be a panel of Latinas in the workplace and where a panel of a few Latinas um, alum, alumnae, um, will be joining us and sharing a little bit about their experience in Baruch and where they are now in their careers and what it means to them to be Latinas in their different fields. We have panelists who um, work in journalism. We actually have a panelist who works for the Star Career Development Center, and she's also an alum. And we do have another panelist who works for Bank of America, and they'll be sharing a little bit about their experiences and being Latina and, and, and being a Baruch alum and how that has helped them. So I just wanted to highlight that real quick, because that is one event that we have you know, going on. Similar to how the panelists are coming back to volunteer, that's where you all come in as alumni volunteers. You can always reach out if you want to be part of the network, if you have an idea for an event or you want to put together, you know, a panel or a virtual event or an in-person event, you can reach out to me and we can definitely set up a meeting and create greatness, right, with all of the different affinity networks. I'm going to share on the chat, all of the groups, please join in, right? You don't, you might not know who you're going to reach it, you know, find there, like you went to school with or anything like that. You can identify as part of any of these groups or just want to learn and share your experiences as well. I'm actually going to take the time to also share, um, actually share my screen and put on here the alumni, our alumni website and where you can find all of this great information as well. Um, and then I'm also going to share our LinkedIn page and share my screen um, so you can all connect. So just bear with me one second. I'm going to share. So I hope everyone can see my screen. So this is the uh, Baruch College alumni website and where you can find all of this information, right, from events to getting involved, um, a little bit about us as an office as well. So as I mentioned, some of the events coming up, you're going to be able to see the full calendar of events. Um, so we do have today's the volunteer interest webinar. Thank you all for coming. Uh, we do have a few other events this week. Um, and then here you can have the entire calendar. So you can stay up to date with what's going on with our, you know, with our office. We do have a Baruch Real Estate Alumni Networking Night as well. Um, and then we do also have an event happening in Paris for our Baruch and Paris alumni. And these are just a little bit of the events going on in the month of September. So you can always check in the website, go to events, and they'll all be there. Um, of course, we also like to include different news articles and headlines, and we headline a lot of our alum. Um, so take a look at that. And if you're interested in anything dealing with um, the news and, and highlighting anything, please reach out as well. We have the alumni career services. So of course, we have all the connections with all of our the different career centers, which you already heard from Star, um, Marx, uh, Wiseman, Ziglin, um, and you can connect with them. The Get Involved, this is where you'll find all of the different um, networks that we have, the regional groups connecting on LinkedIn, volunteer opportunities. A lot of you probably already filled out the volunteer interest form where you can sign up to be a volunteer and then I will probably be reaching out to you to set up a meeting and see what your interests are in volunteering. And that's a little bit about the website on here. You have all of our contact information. Um, feel free to get you know familiarized with this website. And now I'm going to share our LinkedIn page. All right, so if you have not already done so, I definitely recommend everyone to connect to our Baruch alumni LinkedIn page where we post a lot of different, you know, articles. Um, we connect with so many different alum. This is something that you can also do. You network and you make those connections, right? So it's, you can, it's open to anyone to connect. Um, please feel free. This is how it looks. That's our logo. Um, so please connect. And I'm going to share that on our chat as well.
All right. And yes, as Jana mentioned, now we have your emails. So we'll be sending you all of this information. You have access to our newsletters, our articles, the events, emails, and things like that. So I'm going to take the time now in the chat to include all of the LinkedIn groups and Facebook groups for every um, affinity network, along with the Brook alumni LinkedIn page as well. While Sashe does this, um, I'll just jump in for a second uh, and say that uh, there are 137,000 of our Baruch alumni on LinkedIn. Um, uh, there are uh, additionally another about 6,000 Baruch MBA alumni who uh, are on a Zicklin uh, LinkedIn page. Um, and uh, so we remind our MBA alumni to uh, be sure to uh, remember to network uh, across the Baruch network, not just the MBA network. Um, and this, uh, uh, this is an extraordinary number of people um, uh, to, to be able to connect with. Um, of our 165,000 alumni, uh, close to 100,000 of them have graduated within the last 20 years because we used to graduate about 1,000 students a year um, in the 80s and 90s. Some of you may remember graduating in even smaller classes of 300 or 500 before that. Uh, we graduated over 5,000 students uh, this uh, last May. Um, and have done so for several years uh, and are uh, uh, looking forward to uh, continuing to, to grow. We have the largest incoming freshman class uh, Baruch has ever seen, uh, starting having started a few weeks ago. So this network is your network. Uh, and uh, it is uh, you know, it's not always what you know, it's who you know. So we hope you will take advantage of your Baruch network. Um, in addition to using, uh, joining our various affinity group networks um, or some of our professional or regional networks, um, feel free to reach out to alumni, um, uh, alumni directly. Um, feel free to reach out to uh, me directly as well. More than happy to connect and help you connect with others. So, uh, 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 Sashay, are, have you uploaded all you need? Yes, I have. So on here, I uploaded all of the Affinity Network groups. Please feel free to connect. I'm also going to put my email on the chat. If you're interested specifically in any of these Affinity groups, reach out. Uh, we can always plan events and, and get together um, all of the different alum that you may know in your networks and, and create uh, greatness right throughout the semesters um so I did put all of that in the chat I'm not sure um as we wait for Michelle because I know she needs some time to join back in and, and share a little bit about the Brew College Alumni Association I think it's a great time for us to take some questions um from everyone if anyone has a specific question for myself Janet or anyone else who presented today please feel free to unmute yourselves um, and ask any questions you may have. Uh, Shay, thank you for I love the metaphor of creating greatness um, you know, a lot of people are putting their emails in the chat as volunteers don't retain it email Sasha, email Janet, email one of us, and we'll get it to the right office. <laughs> so we, we don't want to have this be a data dump. So just pick one email. And if you have any follow-up questions, whether it's EOC, GCMC, whatever, uh, we'll, we'll get it to the right office. And I think the Hire Baruch website that Janet put on the chat earlier is really a good way to kind of get an idea of all the ways we engage alumni and employers to help out with, um, with helping our students. So I just want to underscore, I love the creating greatness metaphor this evening. As a proud Baruch alum, I think that's something that we always learn <laughs> to do and aspire for. So thank you so much. <laughs> And I'll re-put the higher Baruch on here as well. And I'm just monitoring the chat. Anyone has any questions or for any of the offices specifically? 
I want to thank Kathy for sending a request to join the Robert C. Weaver Black Alumni Facebook group. Robert C. Weaver was the first uh, president of Baruch College when we transitioned in 1969 from being the Baruch School um, to being uh, an independent Baruch College. And we wanted to honor his leadership um, when we launched this network. Similar to uh, our other affinity networks, um, we're looking forward to creating um, the steering committees to help us strategize and engage with alumni to plan um, pertinent events. Uh, we are um, uh, very excited um, that our uh, women's network uh, launched this last year um, and uh, are excited to uh, see what else uh, may come forth. Uh, if you have ideas for other networks uh, to be launched, uh, please let us know. There has been uh, talk in the past of creating a small business network uh, that could be of interest. Um, we welcome other ideas as well. Um, in terms of uh, questions about Florida, uh, yes, uh, I believe our alumni uh, leaders um, are uh, up to date, but I will um, cross-reference. Always feel free to email directly. And I think we also have a question. Um, Marie, you have a question for us? Uh, yes, I have a question in regards to uh, the leadership team. Uh, I just wanted to know what it, I mean, it is a brief dis description about it, but I just wanted to know what it entails. I do know that the meetings will be four to five times a year, um, but I just want to know like when we're getting ready to organize events or, you know, like uh, facilitate some networking events and things like that, what, 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 what type of like involvement does it require in terms of time? Is this for the Alumni in the Arts Network or other networks? Uh, this is for the Alumni in the Arts. Sure. So I would say that usually if we have an event um, that we want to plan, we try to plan it out two to three months in advance so that there's um, a good marketing lead time. So we probably um, would spend... Um, two to three hours um, uh, uh, over email or on Zoom, confirming what a topic would be, talking about who we know who might um, be appropriate speakers and then doing that outreach. Uh, then our team would take over in terms of coordinating registration, creating the marketing, uh, and then it is about sharing the word. So posting to social media, um, sharing it with your fellow alumni. Um, the, we uh, try to take care of all the logistics um, as needed. And then it's about showing up and helping rally others to, to get involved and learn about all these things that we do. Uh, I, I find that um, Baruch alumni are always shocked at how much uh, there is uh, to get involved with, either as a mentor or helping us lead our, our various different uh, our networks uh, uh, and or uh, helping out with STAR or the GCMC or speaking to our current students. So it really is about becoming an ambassador. Um, so it is, it is really not a huge time sink. Uh, it's a coordinated, um, uh, it's a coordinated time commitment based on events and initiatives. Okay, that's wonderful because I'm, I'm definitely interested in becoming an ambassador and helping in any type of leadership um, role that I can. I am a Baruch alumni and at the same time I just started my graduate studies at Baruch College. Woo -woo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I go into school for industrial and organization organizational psychology so I'm very excited about that and I would like to help out I would like to just volunteer my time I'm also interested in helping uh students of color um yeah. because uh, I know there are lots of barriers and challenges that I have encountered myself uh when I was working as a software engineer and I feel that I can give them some insight um um, in terms of the workplace, what to expect, certain things to look Amazing. for, care for, and, and so forth. Yeah. 
That's great. So I just don't know where do I start? Who do I email? <laughs> so um, the email either Sashay or myself, and we can okay. talk about the Alumni in the Arts Network as well as um, perhaps the Robert C. Weaver Society, perhaps uh, you're uh, participating in some of the upcoming Baruch and Beyond events. We'll get you looped in. Great. I'm ready. <laughs> Excellent. I'm ready to help. Mm -hmm. um, as we uh, wait, Sashay, for Michelle to get off her bus, how do you think, uh, what do you think about my talking a little bit about our corporate networks? Yeah, I think that that that's great. And I will, and I also just, Marie, just for your reference, I put our personal emails on the chat for you as well. But um, okay. yes, Janet, you want to take it away for the corporate networks. Terrific. So um, some of you may have heard uh, that there are these secret networks that exist um, among graduates of uh, Ivy League schools that, you know, once you spot a Harvard man, you always, uh, or a Harvard alum, you are, um, you're, you're connected for good. You know each other, you look out for each other. Well, I see no reason for us not to have that same um, commitment to the Baruch Network. And uh, we have done an audit over the last couple of years of the top 100 Baruch employers and have slowly but surely been engaging with some of our top 20 employers, uh, including Citigroup, Goldman Sachs, KPMG, EY, Deloitte, uh, Eisner, Amper, Google, um, let's see, the MTA, uh, what am I not thinking of? KPMG and UBS. Uh, we have 10 corporate alumni networks at the moment. Um, uh, these networks uh, are supposed to uh, have, have four goals. One, to build greater connections among alumni at uh, within the employer, uh, either to encourage men uh, mentoring, uh, sponsorship, um, uh, developing better relationships across an organization, always can help you do your job better. It's also a, a, a resource for creating new talent pipelines to hire uh, more Baruch students and alumni within the organization. We also uh, see these networks as a vehicle for, uh, uh, for uh, where am I? Um, sorry, a uh, vehicle for um, uh, volunteering. Uh, to uh, get more folks to help mentor. And then finally, to, to give back to the college. Um, uh, we really are trying this year to um, beat Hunter College as the number one um, college in terms of raising funds during CUNY Tuesday, which will be on February 29th, uh, February, November 29th, but Tuesday after Thanksgiving. Uh, and so uh, we have launched these networks um, at these 10 organizations. If you are working there, please reach out. Um, if you are interested in, uh, in learning more about uh, how you might become a champion for us at your employer um, and or as what Fred was saying earlier um, in terms of uh, recruiting uh, from your employer at Baruch, we'd be more than happy to talk to you about it. So um, please email Sashay or me, and we're happy to talk to, about building uh, more of these corporate networks. Um, one thing that I find truly amazing is that um, Amazon is now our top 10 uh, alumni employer. And Amazon didn't exist, what, 20, 20 odd years ago, right? Um, it's, it's truly extraordinary. Um, our number one employer is JP Morgan Chase, uh, and, uh, with, um, 1100 plus alumni there, uh, and, uh, uh, happy to, um, uh, share more details with you personally. I want to give a, a huge kudos to you, Janet, because you and Sasha and Kanto and everyone from EOC, just reminding folks that our alumni association is relatively young, about 20, 25 years. We've had people in, in the campus working on alumni relations. And so many of the universities that were mentioned have had long legacies of having years and years of alumni coalition building and partnerships and championing. And I think we're trying to catch up. And a huge thank you to all of you for being on this call and extending a hand and remembering what it was like. I think Marie, 
you hit the nail on the head. I think students of color, LGBTQ, first generation, immigrant, we, we, we cross 160 countries on campus and, you know, there's so many ways to help out. And we as professionals and you as alumni have a way to really touch the students who don't have a mom or a dad or a parent in those situations. So it's very humbling. I'm a first generation student myself and I, I'm so humbled that I can give back and help students be successful. So huge kudos to Janet and her team because this work is happening rapidly and we're catching up because our, we haven't done it for so many years. Thanks, Brad. That's Anytime. super nice of you. Anytime. It's true. And I think like we have to look at Fordham in Columbia. They've had long, long, long years of building infinity networks and where, you know, our alumni office, Baruch was a free academy, part of the city, we're still part of CUNY, but until the seventies, there was no admissions criteria. And now we've become very selective in our admissions and we want to, you know, have alumni to match what's going on on campus. And Janet, you're at the helm, you're making it all happen, you and your team. You're super nice. Thank you so much, Brett. Um, I think I may say a few words on behalf of Michelle Corley from the BCAA. I, I'm sorry, John. I think she she logged in. Um, I hope you can hear us, Michelle. I I see you on here on our list. <laughs> I just Hi. don't know. Yeah, I'm here. Yes, they you are. are. <laughs> All right, let me find you. It's it's M I and then Corley. If yes, can, yeah. Can Can you hear me? Yes. Can you? Uh, I'm coming through. Yes, you're coming through. Right. <laughs> this hybrid remote life is crazy, is it not? <laughs> it is crazy. It is crazy. So we're just going to say that um, the, the work that Sachet and I do are on behalf of the Office of Alumni Relations and Volunteer Engagement. And there is a separate entity that this amazing woman, Michelle Corley, leads, which is the Baruch College Alumni Association that's been around for uh, 50 plus years. And um, that you're a bit frozen at the moment. Um, uh, so Michelle, um, the uh, give a wave and maybe then just uh, go to audio. Okay, as long as I'm coming through, I think that's good. There we go. Perfect. So I'll be very brief because I know folks have been tied to the screen for quite some time. And thank you so much, Janet and your team. I look forward to continue to build out the relationships. So the Baruch Alumni Association, we tend to do the sweet, soft and sexy stuff. <laughs> so we love to connect alumni in terms of a lot of the cultural events. Um, this if anything good came out of COVID, it was the fact that we have been able to extend our arms in this way, in this platform, in terms of reaching out to alumni and hosting some fun stuff. So uh, to decompress, we've been having events that will stem from any Zumba uh, to mental wellness to um, alums connecting on line and 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 we had for uh, change lunar new year we did a tour um in china really so uh we have our terms of engaging what we call the other baruch right and so we know that we're big in finance we're big in so many other things but to reconnect on a human component and a human level um has been one of our sweet spot things which we've been doing so with that being said i do hope to see you all uh, for some of our social events that will be happening soon. Um, so please feel free. Thank you so much, Janet, for going uh, and putting the website uh, in the chat and visit us there. We will love to connect with you. We Again, we have our book club. Uh, we've read everything from Sydney Portier to um, Cicely Tyson and, and it goes on and on. Um, but feel free to reach out to us, to our office. We look forward to connecting with you. And in addition, uh, we also have opportunities to volunteer on the board. That is one way in which you can do that uh, to please. Okay. Yep. Just send an email and we'll get back to you if, if you're looking to do that. Um, but we have uh, board volunteer opportunities to help us to align with the overall mission and goal of the alumni relations department in conjunction with our alma mater Baruch College. So please, again, um, reach out to us. I hope to see you all, connect with you all in the near future. And thank you so much, Janet and your team for this opportunity to speak with you all. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, Michelle, for joining us. Um, despite you being on the train and everything, you, you're a rock star. You made it. So thank you so much. As mentioned, Michelle's email is on the chat along with the Baruch College Shalom Association event calendar and website. I know we put so much information on the chat, so many emails, so many websites. But remember, this is being recorded and you all are going to get the uh, recording of this and the chat should probably be on there as well. But feel free to reach out to Janet and myself for any information on any of the offices that spoke today or anything about the networks or anything in general, any questions you might have or any ideas. We're always open to ideas and, um, and things of that nature. So thank you all so much. I don't know if Janet wants to say a few words. <laughs> Thank you so much. We zoomed through this Zoom. Uh, and uh, as Sashay said, um, lots of opportunities. Uh, we look forward to speaking with you uh, about your unique interests. Um, uh, we, uh, our volunteer opportunities uh, tend to be in bite-sized portions. Uh, so you can uh, do a one and done uh, sort of opportunity, or you can get deeply involved, um, rolling up both your sleeves um, and really becoming a champion for, for Baruch College um, in your community, at your company, um, within uh, the, the broader uh, Baruch network um, and or uh, in tandem with our, our students. Uh, if there are any additional questions, um, uh, please do email them to us. And uh, I think we will wrap up right before the six o'clock bell. So thank you all for coming. Have a wonderful evening and we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye-bye everyone. Good night everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice job, Sashay. Whatever.